The political feelings of Colorado settlers, combined with a highly anti-Indian attitude, prevailed. At dawn on November 29, 1864, approximately 650 troops, mostly volunteers of the Colorado 1st and 3rd Regiments, were ordered by Colonel J.M. Chivington to attack a village of Cheyenne and Arapaho Indians along Sand Creek in eastern Colorado. Chiefs included Black Kettle, White Antelope, and Bear Tongue. During the course of the attack, troops leveled a barrage of fire, including howitzers against the fleeing Indians. This pursuit extended for several miles along the creek and across the adjoining prairie. By day's end, about 160 Cheyenne and Arapaho lay dead, most of whom were women, children, and elderly. This event became known as the Sand Creek Massacre. As a Sand Creek descendant and as a Cheyenne artist, it was in 1996 that I created a contemporary painting of what I entitled Sand Creek. It was the before and after uh, perspective that I gave in a contemporary way. I, I depicted the village of a peaceful village of how our Cheyenne people, Black Kettle's encampment would have been. And on the, in the painting, I, I depicted four handprints, which were green. And uh, these four handprints represented the four, the number four, the sacred number of the Cheyenne people, but the four directions of our Cheyenne way of life, our ceremonies. And green represents life, vegetation, um, new beginning of life. And uh, in the painting, I, I put the American flag, the U.S. flag, and the white flag of uh, truce, safety, because uh, it was the soldiers that gave Black Kettle the flag and, and told him to put it on the pole in front of his teepee so the soldiers would know that it was a peaceful camp. And at Sand Creek, he did do that. And he began to uh, holler at the soldiers, stop, stop. But they wouldn't listen. And so in my painting, that flag is in my painting. And at the bottom is the aftermath, the massacre. And I depicted the sky with red blood, the blood of our people, the loss of life. And then in the, the teepee, our, the soldiers burned our village. And so at the bottom of the painting, I show the teepees being burnt. And I show the hands upside down, the fingers cut off as the mutilation occurred by the soldiers. So the blood represents the bleeding of our Cheyenne people, the babies, the women and the children, the mutilation. And so on that day, I view that the sky was filled with Cheyenne blood. And in the end, uh, after the massacre, as the orders were given to burn our village, Little did, no, did Shivington know that he was fulfilling one of our obligations of our burial ceremonies. We always burn the personal property of our loved ones when they pass on. And so as I burned this painting, I knew I only had one chance to, to burn it, to make it a, a, a reality effect and the emotion that I was trying to put into this painting. And I prayed before I did that. And as I began to burn it, I prayed and it turned out uh, to be equal in distribution of the smoke and equal in distribution in the burning itself the flame. And so uh, I, I believe that my prayer was answered when I prayed. And so it is my hope that my painting, my contemporary version of Sand Creek, will help educate others 
but will encourage other artists to paint their perspective, their emotions, their hurt, their pain, and the suffering of our people. But also to look at it as a healing process. To accept what happened, but to never forget Sankrit.